excited for the day. Uh, let's get into this Demonis Sabonis thing real quick. Again, it's not really uh, new news. We kind of already knew about this uh, at the start of last season that Demonis Sabonis mm-hmm. was going to be selected uh, for this Netflix show to be featured. Uh, they the, Just in the, the synopsis of the show, it says the series captures all five athletes in their battles on and off the floor as they chase greatness, push through injuries, and battle the demands of family and legacy. LeBron James, uh, LeBron James will be featured in his 21st season. Anthony Edwards uh, will also be featured. Jimmy Butler and his relentless drive propels the the Miami Heat. And then the write-up that they have on Demonis Sabonis is Sabonis anchors the Kings with his versatile play, and Tatum leads the Celtics in their quest for their 18th championship. Starting five delivers an unfiltered view of life at the pinnacle of professional basketball. I think a lot of people are going to be very excited to see when this thing kicks off. Uh, The first episode will be released on Wednesday, October 9th, which just so happens to be the first day of Sacramento Kings basketball. You have preseason action October 9th against the Golden State Warriors. Uh, It's going to be, what, 10 45-minute episodes uh, that are going to be released uh, on Netflix. So, Definitely. I'm excited to see it, Alan. I know we we saw a couple occasions. I know uh, mm-hmm. when, when the Kings were out in the Bay Area and Demonis Sabonis was answering questions from Rasay Fox and his wife. We saw some Netflix cameras and I think we saw him a couple different times throughout the season. But just in general, I mean, just on the surface, does does this get you excited? Are you are you a fan of this kind of you know, we obviously saw the receiver show, the quarterback right. show and things like that. Uh, are you excited for this? And do you think it's going to work out? Yeah. You know, Chris. Look, I got to be honest here, and yeah. you know the vibes are right, and and we're having a good time already. The show let me tell you, Alan. First started. off, sorry, it's a good thing you missed crosstalk because oh, no, 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 no. Dave was uh, he? I was yeah. listening. Yes, and, it, and it's it was, funny because yes. <laughs> I was in the stream yard. Yeah. Okay, but then I was also watching. I felt like. Patrick Swayze I felt like I was there but nobody knew I was there and then I heard you say it's a good thing Alan's not there and I'm saying I'm here and I'm, I wish that I wasn't because yeah it was he just tried to top yesterday and I think he was successful that that's that's seriously what went on there but the vibes are good though their vibes are vibing right yes, now yes yes and and I and I will say this you mentioned two other shows all right and this is just yeah. me personally the receiver show which yeah. I didn't watch and yeah, the same. quarterback show, which I watched about an episode or, mm. or maybe two. Okay. And for me, I struggle. And we talked about this before. I personally struggle with watching things when I already know how it ended. You know what I mean? I mean, we know because this is based on last season, right? So we know how everything ends. And I struggle with that personally. That's just me. I know there's going to be some things that get shown that maybe we wouldn't typically see. Right. So I get that too. On on the morning show, they talked about, I think it was, it, it was something with the NFL and it was a coach and it was on one of these shows and the coach had all this stuff to say, you know, when he was calling out a play and Dave. Oh, thinking, right. Yes. I heard them say and, that. And yeah. Dave is thinking, hey, is this reality or is it because there's, a, there's right. the, the, the cameras involved? And that's how I feel when yesterday we talked about, or two days ago, we talked about the Manti Teo thing. Is, and I just, when people say these days, Oh, they're doing it for clicks. I, that whole thing is null and void to me because everybody's doing everything for clicks. I don't know what is reality. Okay, you got LeBron James, and we know he's planning out everything. I got to be honest with you, Chris. I know, and and I don't think it's person to person. I think they're going to bounce back and forth. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe I'd be interested in watching this a bonus piece. But right. I, I don't need to watch all, all the rest of them. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm right there with you. Like, I watched I watched the entirety of the quarterback show, but the mm-hmm. receiver show, I watched a half an episode in exactly your point. Like, I got tired of the, the stories that they were telling. Like, I just didn't I didn't connect with the Kittle story. I thought the Debo story was boring. I just wanted to see Justin Jefferson. Like, right. if I could have just gotten a Jefferson Adams cut, Devontae yeah. Adams cut, I would have watched it. But I do think that's definitely a really interesting point because I do think, frankly, I mean, that you're probably speaking for a lot of Sacramento Kings fans. Like, I don't know how many Kings fans really care about Anthony. I mean, obviously, Anthony Edwards is incredibly entertaining, but mm-hmm. uh, maybe Jimmy Butler is the better example. Like, right. I, I don't know how many Kings fans are going to want to watch that Jimmy Butler storyline. And frankly, I mean, even from Demonis Sabonis' side, we were there all year. I, don't, I mean, he had the double double streak, which was obviously incredibly impressive. But yeah. in terms of television entertainment, 
I don't really know if there was anything that I would say from last year that Sabonis yeah. really like that was a really popping storyline. I mean, it'll be interesting to see, I guess, like if they show locker room stuff, you know, after Malik Monk goes down, how was mm-hmm. the emotions of the locker room? But, you know, the problem with frankly, I mean, the problem with these kind of shows these days is we're probably not even going to see those kind of things, right? Like, I mean, hard knocks has started to take out people getting cut and things like that. I would imagine this is kind of propaganda in a way, especially, I mean, you know, your, your boy LeBron James is involved. I'm pretty sure they're not going to let anything that even resembles any sort of drama really leak from this. I, I, not that I could imagine. So I'm right there with you, honestly. I mean, I I'm expecting to be excited about the release of this Mm -hmm. show, but I feel like I'm like the P1 audience for this kind of thing. And yeah, I, I don't know if I'm really going to watch 10 episodes of this. I mean, it's, it's yeah. definitely an intriguing idea and I don't think we've gotten something like this before, but I, I, I just don't know if, if uh, I mean, for, well, do you feel like you can't really get bigger names than this, right? I mean, maybe if you have Steph and KD, but you have LeBron, you have Jason Tatum, Jimmy Butler, Anthony Edwards, Sabonis mm-hmm. is definitely the smallest name in there. Is it maybe the names that, like, if this is a LeBron, Steph, and KD show, does does that do more for you? No, because I think at the end of the day, and to get back into my Draper bag, if you will, <laughs> I, I know that he thinks he's a LeBron James of the station. Yeah, but I, you know, I I'm like, sort of LeBron James, oh you know, uh, uh, of the of the <laughs> station. Yeah, trying to boost the rating. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. So, oh uh, yeah, to, <laughs> I got <gotcha>. you, <laughs> LeBron James. I think right now for me. And part of it is the Olympics. You got the Devin Booker documentary and Anthony. There's just been a lot of basketball. Wait, there's a Devin Booker document? Oh, the yes, yes, yes the, the Olympic Olympics, thing. Right, yes, Olympics. yes, yeah, and which I me, didn't watch either. LeBron and Drake, there's both suffering from oversaturation. <laughs> and I'm just not sure what LeBron could show me on this show that yeah. we haven't at least heard about. Or He's got his shop show, which we, pl- we, we have yep. some of that sound later today. Yeah. He's got so many things right now. So that's just, that's just what it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's no, I'm what it yeah, is a hundred percent. I mean, I, yeah, I, I think the LeBron story has been told. I mean, uh, especially in year 21, like it's, it's, I, I don't really know again, what, what is the storyline to follow there? It'll be interesting. I mean, I'm sure again, uh, there'll be some, some things that we haven't seen before in terms of access and things like that. But I don't know if I'm expecting this to really have the same kind of pull that hard knocks has had in the past. I don't really think this is going to be, uh, you know, as big as the quarterback show. Mm-hmm. And I wonder if it'll even be as big as the receiver show. I think there's definitely going to be some general interest, but kind of like you said, I mean, we know how this story ends. We know that it ends with Jason Tatum raising the trophy. And the funny thing is he wasn't even the MVP. So maybe yeah. that'll be uh, an interesting storyline to follow in the last episode. But I uh, definitely thought Kings fans would be interested in knowing again, starting five releasing on Netflix with your very own DeMontis Sabonis starting Wednesday, October 9th on Netflix. That should be a really, really good one. And then you have the uh, the main headliner of Kings versus Warriors preseason action uh, again on Wednesday, October 9th. So definitely look out for that one and look out 49ers because you might have been